Good afternoon, folks. It's, uh, let me check my clock here. 2.38 p.m. Tuesday, 20 September. It's been two days since we've been to the property. Uh, we were out shopping yesterday in uh, Abinson's and uh, Wilcon Depot, as you see by the video. Uh, Lady Jazz was tired, so we just called it the day. And uh, this is our driveway common way common driveway we share it with a bunch of other neighbors and stuff down here uh, before for the, those of you new to the channel um, early on we put s1 sand all the way down and it looked a lot nicer prettier but since then some grass has grown it's time to for grooming again we've groomed it once since we've uh, did it the first time so obviously we got to trim up to the left trim up along the wall I don't want any shrubbery um, and obviously this low-hanging bamboo here. I'm just going to back up a little bit. As I'm doing this, you see it's low-hanging here. Uh, got my truck, my Mitsubishi, 2017 Mitsubishi, parked here. That's uh, on my four meters here of my right-of-way. And here we go here. This is our, you see our temp fixes we did. Just going to walk this way. The goats uh, at me. I don't know why. They always ignore me before. Uh, it's been raining off and on a lot the last couple days, so that's why you see the water sitting here. Not as bad as it was in August, but uh, still. The rainy season is still with us. Uh, the water has not risen, it's just there. More goats. The scooter JC Road to get over here. He just got back from the municipality and hopefully we've wrapped up, got good news and we have our actual permit. We were waiting for the uh, San Antonio mayor who signs the permit, I guess, to get back in uh, office. And then we were told today he was. So JC went over there. And at uh, some point, I'm gonna lay out the cost for what we paid, penalties and everything. and. Just as an FYI kind of thing. Uh, now the goat, I'm gonna run out. Hang on just a second. Gotta shoot the goat back. Oh, shh. We got trees over here. Shh. They don't scare as easily as dogs do. Shh, shh. Gotta go for she, he or she, he. Shh, 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 shh. <laughs> okay. Some of these are not nice goats. Hers are usually tied up. The loose ones are. The other neighbors who lost the goat before, somebody ate it, I guess. They had a sign up. But anyway, there's the house. Lady Jazz now, once she's done visiting over at the Kubo, we're going to walk up and get an update. It's been two days. There comes Lady Jazz wearing her tights. She did an OBGYN checkup yesterday. She was, Jason said... Why did you was running? <laughs> running. You're running though. Running where? Go on. Oh, hang on a second. We're going to pause till we get to the house. Okay, uh, always changes. Uh, just got informed that the building permit will be released sometime this week. Last week we were told today, and today we're told sometime this week, and we'll see. There's James. He's back on while they're doing the plastering for the house that's him over there by the sand there's the ulam we like some <laughs> veggies first. and you some uh, yes and some dried fish the from the critters and the dogs and the cats and the goats and the other day I took that wasn't rice I thought it was rice it was some their dish is like a vegetable sabal kind of thing they had up from the critters okay now we're gonna go and Step inside. Let's see what's been going on. Let's give a quick look. This is from the other day.
Looks like they can see down here. They smoothed everything down here, plastered it. Now it's underneath the bar area. Let's walk a little slow walk here because there's debris all over the floor. Over here, as they brought it out to here. Oh, they're kind of framing up uh, where they're going to put the cement. Yeah, that's what it is. Cement the counter. They got the cement here with the countertop. See, they got the molding up there to support it all over here. And then we're gonna, they're going to wrap it over there too. Yes. Hang on a second. Babe, now is not the time to say it's too high when it's been poured. You guess me now when the other house is too small for me? No. <laughs> yeah, well, that's because your tummy. Once, you, once your tummy's gone and little bit's here, then you just be reach over <laughs> in there and down, down like that. So, anyway, yeah, so they got the cement thing laid here. Then the building of the cabinets are going to come later. Excuse me, sorry. Again, I'm looking over the camera and not at it. You see where they brought it out here a little bit? Underneath, all this is going to be cabinets down here. And over here is our stove. I'm gonna go right here. We'll see how far it, 90, 90 centimeters out it comes. We're gonna have the exhaust fan up here. Let's do a little quick round here, give it a slow roll. And I'm gonna check each room without videoing it just to see if anything extra was done down here. Okay, I'm gonna go up. I'm in the little hallway here. CR, and they got this here. They're putting this up. Over here, getting ready for the ceiling. And over here in the front bedroom, same thing. Foreman Jesse. Sorry about that, scooting side spiders out of the way. It's been busy. We be calling for me to bring in some gypsum board soon but they're going to do all the electrical and the plumbing and stuff first i was told was the last status that i got on this before they actually come in and put the gypsum board ceilings up you see our not yet just to show you now this is the window i've asked them to recenter there's nothing there yet down, palms, well, just bring it around. Just walk it out of here, back out again. I'm gonna go over to Sabrina's room, the middle bedroom. Okay, good, they got the ceiling things up here. Here. Yeah. Jesse's been busy. Jesse's been busy. So the guys are plastering and Jesse's been hanging. Ceiling here. We'll check the boys' bedroom. So you see, it's already been, it's the boys' bedroom. That's where the fellas have been sleeping. Privacy. Privacy, yeah, they got the back room. So let me do the ceiling first. See the plumbing that's up there. And the plumbers are going to be coming back probably towards the end of this month, beginning in October. Plumber and the electrician. And, uh, this whole room is complete as far as the ceiling. And you see the workers, they moved the little, this is what they sleep on. Okay, they moved it back here to the back bedroom here. The boards, belongings. Now we're gonna take it upstairs. All right, look at here. Look at the window, it's been knocked out. Remember the last time it was just framed up or outlined? Now it's been completely knocked out and they got just got to take the rebar down. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's going to cost me a penny to put a window in there. All right, let me walk up the steps. Got my head. 
usually I pause it, but what the heck. Da, da, da. Watch out the cement, babe. See, he's laying it out again. Getting ready to do the ceiling up here. Got the beams, cross beams going. That's the man of the hour, Jesse. in here plastering up the master bath see you see you all Whoop, Nelson just walk right into that way <laughs> okay I got a board down here oh, look they're knocking oh they knocked that one down there too outstanding outstanding you see the bedroom went in there 60 by 120 all right that one too look how it just brings a lot of light in there this fellow's been busy. I think they're plastering in the walk-in closets in here. I can't get in oh, right now. Let's go here. <laughs> I'm a little. Give me the phone. I'm a little low. I don't want to scoot down that far. I might not be able to get back up, babe. No, no, it's okay, folks. It's okay, folks. Okay, let me pause it. Hey, there's brother Jay. Yeah, see, plastering up here. This is my walk-in closet. Yeah, it's got a lot of plastering going on in here. There we go, nice window. I don't think that one's quite 60 by 120, babe. That one's not 60 by 120. Yeah, I don't... We're going to measure this. 60 by 80? 50 by... 50 by 80? 50, okay, 50 by 80. Okay, so good thing we didn't order the windows yet. Because <laughs> if we had planned, uh, I, I, I'm good with that size. I am good with this size. There's rebar, plaster in here. And Jazz is good with this one. This is a 60 by 180. Excuse me, 60 by 120. 60 by 120. They hadn't started plastering in here yet. All right. Let me uh, pause. Making everything look nice. Just talking with uh, Jesse via Jazz, and uh, looks like I think downstairs they may get, be getting ready to paint soon. So. I'm going to bring on one professional painter, and all these guys are going to be helping. But it's good to have a professional painter in to get his two cents worth on it. Just another expense I wasn't expecting. I think it's 600 pesos a day for the painter. So I'm just trying to get an idea of how long I expect it. Need to plan for that. Okay, as you can see, I can't squat that low. I probably could, I don't want to. <laughs> Clean up, get back up. And then just, I don't want to move up in this writing, so maybe later I'll get him to move outside and I'll go outside and get an outside look. But for now, there she is. Okay. Yeah, made my way outside when he took a break from work and writing some stuff down. We need additional materials we need to get. And I'll go over that on the list later. Here's the outside. I think I already took it. He still hasn't finished the roofing yet. That'll come to it. He's been busy working on the ceiling, uh, getting all the, well, I'm going to call railings up in the ceiling there. Rafters, whatever you want to call that. Again, remind you, there's communications gap, so, plus an accent, so I can't catch the names too often but the work is superb 
that pole still hasn't come down, but they've been busy inside. Um, right now, he's making a list for other items we need to get, gypsum boards. Let me walk over here. They plastered the outside of the CR, still working on it, looks like, here. Yeah, I'm not going to walk around <laughs> and get too close to that edge. I'm going to fall off. You see, the still need to finish that up here. I like the way he's got it going here, and then he turns up and he runs it here this way. Gives it a nice look. So there, he's talking to Lady Jazz about the materials to get. Horse under the tree. Uh, we really need to clean up quick. Just love to do this every time. Soon, hopefully. Soon. We'll be here. Let's bring the boy. Oh, JC. I thought you meant the Jesse the foreman. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. I'm talking while I'm recording here. Uh, this is the list of uh, additional things we need to get. Uh, well, actually, some of them uh, we already have. But um, this is what we need to make sure we have. Um, our foreman. Well, hang on a second. Okay, anyway, this is the list of things. Um, I lost my train of thought. Come on, Rock. Think, son. Think. Um, anyway, this is the list we're going to go pick up. Because he just told us, uh, instead of leaving for two days at the end of the month, he's going to leave this Sunday and come back Tuesday. So we need to get the gypsum boards, 40 of them, here so he can get that up before he leaves. That man's ready to, whew, he's ready to get moving. That's a lot of boards to get up. Um, also, right now, they're taking a look at the uh, kitchen counter tiles we, we bought. Um, we really didn't dig the granite samples that we've seen here. Tarlock. Pompanga, Longapo, Dito. So we're going to go with some tiles we like. Um, but he's going to take a look at that. He's getting ready to mount those up where the cemento is there before he starts building the outdoor cabinets. So. Did you remember we did put the transfer on their bar? Hang on a second. Hey, pause. Lady Jazz wants to go through the jungle. The long grass and got mud puddles, and I told her, but. She didn't have socks on her feet, so I'm, I'm taking the road back. It's no puddles here. So we're going to head over here, get a brother JC, get EJ, and then we're going to go see if we can pick up some of these items, have them delivered, so uh, Foreman Jesse can, can get his groove on again. I told you, these guys are good. They're moving quick, but they're not sacrificing uh, any of the quality work that they're putting in there. I'm going to say it again. We've had two municipality engineers come and inspect the house. Actually, there's been three engineers inspect the house. We had one maybe two months ago come in. Uh, we were just doing some check, quality control check, and he came in, gave us a thumbs up. And then we had the municipality engineer from uh, San Antonio come, give us a thumbs up. There was two or three of them. The last ones here, they were in the red shirts. They gave us a thumbs up as well, as well as an engineer from Alongapo municipality. So, whoops. So, uh, <laughs> So, uh, I'm chuckling. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> but anyway, so anyway, we had them come up. So we've got um, um, three different uh, engineers come up, and they all gave us a thumbs up on, on the house and everything, all the way, all facets, electrical, plumbing, uh, the sewage plan, the structural plan, design plan. Uh, so we're on track, baby. We're on track. Feels good to be on track. Okay, this is an issue. Let me time out here and get rid of these goats. <laughs>